Hey y'all, this is Stephanie with a pinch of sweet. Well, I'm getting ready to make my rolls. Um, I tried a batch this morning. My yeast was my yeast was bad. But I did stock up on yeast uh, and um, flour. So I am going to put my yeast in a freezer bag. And we're going to make some rolls for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, I have my yeast. It's going to go in a bag. And I'm going to freeze it. So that way I don't have to deal with my yeast uh, being bad. So, let me put on here. November. So, I'm going to open up my containers here, pour them in here, and toss these little jars. Actually, what I might do is I might hang on to these jars. in a sink. Be right back in a second. Alright, I got my water running. I need two cups of warm water. So, let me go get that and I'll be right back. Now, we're going to do, uh, the recipe calls for, I'm doing a double recipe. I'm doing two double recipes. So, what we're going to do, is since it's two cups of warm water, we're going to do four, uh, three, really? <laughs> we're going to do seven cups of flour. seven cups of flour and that's going to go in here so let me put this this way so that you can see what I'm doing okay
For now. All right. So we've got our seven cups of flour in here. So now we're going to do our four and a half teaspoons of where I put it right here. Four and a half teaspoons of yeast. Two, three, four, and then I have a fourth, which I will do two of these. Two. Close this up. I forgot about my butter. Well, I gotta pull that out of the microwave. Okay, so now we need um, we need three tablespoons melted butter, so since we're doubling it, that's going to be six. tablespoons of sugar. I am using my swerve. So that'll be six tablespoons of sugar. said three and a half, so sorry, that's seven tablespoons of sugar. Four. Five. Six. And one more. Seven. And then two teaspoons of salted salt. So that'll be four teaspoons. Next, next go round because I am out of Celtic. Uh, I've got very little left. And then two eggs I need to slightly beat. you a friend of mine gave me a bread maker that's what this is so all I'm doing 
is putting everything in the bread maker. Beat these eggs up. And that's going to go all in here. I'm going to plug it in. I haven't used a bread maker in a long time. Um, the last time I used a bread maker was when I first got married before my husband passed. will take five to six minutes then I'm going to put some olive oil in a bowl uh, and let it um, continue to knead and everything else it needs to do and then I'm going to put it in here uh, it needs to knead for five to six minutes so that's what all of this is doing. It's just kneading it all, mixing it all, and kneading it all. So in about five to six minutes, this will be ready to go in here. And then I will make my next batch, and this will all go in here. And it has to rise for two hours. So, and then I will bring you back and show you the next part. But uh, let's put some olive oil on his, this and get it set aside. So that way, when this is done doing its thing, we'll put it in here and make the next batch. So, let me do that. guys today is Monday so you guys should be watching my colored greens uh, recipe I showed you guys how I make my colored greens wait I'll bring you back when it's time to uh, when it starts kneading kneading so I can show you what it looks like and what it's doing see you in a bit okay it's at five minutes kneading so I'm going to show you what it looks like that is it kneading so I'm going to pull that out here and put it in our grease bowl and do the next next batch and um, get that in the grease bowl and then um, it has to um, rise for two hours. So I'm going to 
get my next batch ready, get this in the, in the grease bowl, and uh, and then uh, get my next batch ready. And then I will bring you guys back when I'm getting ready to um, roll it out and make my balls and get them on a uh, on a pan and in the freezer so that they can freeze for and I'll have a double batch for Christmas and a double batch for Thanksgiving so I will bring you guys back in a bit when I get to that point so I'll see you all in a bit okay so now uh, it's time to punch down our dough and get them rolled into balls and it doubled in size as you can see my other dough did not do that because the uh, the um, yeast was bad so Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, um, we need to cut this in half. Because this needs to, let me do this, let me do it this way, because it'll be easier this way. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. This is going to go back in the bowl. We're going to set that aside. And then we're going to press this out into a rectangle. Is what it says to do. I doubled this recipe so this should make 32 balls and then the other side should make 32 also so we should be able to do four cross Four, I mean, four this way and then eight this way. Okay, so now, you can see a little bit better. As you can see, the dough is very pliable. So. So we're going to do four this way. And then we're going to do eight this way.
And then I'm going to put some flour on my hands and then we're going to roll them. Take some of this off and add to because there's a little bit more on these ones. You don't want your rolls too big, but you don't want them too small either. So now I need some uh, flour. I'm going to spread some of this out down here. Just a little bit at a time. Just enough to... that's going to work because it works better without the flour. With the flour you can't roll it. Okay so we'll do it without the flour but that was trial and error to see if that would work. All right so we're going to roll these into balls and then they're going to go right into the freezer. put these in a Ziploc bag and these are going to go in the freezer If you have some that are too small, just mix them with another one and, okay, you might not have 32, but you make it work.
Well, you want some decent size rolls for Thanksgiving, so if one looks too small, you stick it with another one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put these in the freezer. Then once they're completely frozen, that's going to take... Uh, it needs a little bit more. So let's do this. Let's do the whole thing. Um, you'll put them in the freezer. It'll take about two hours for them to come fr uh, completely frozen. Then you're going to put them in a uh, Ziploc freezer bag. And you're just going to mark Thanksgiving uh, with one tray and Christmas with the other. That's it. And um, and then what you'll do is you will, on Thanksgiving morning, you're going to pull them out of the freezer. You're going to let them thaw, and you're going to let them rise till they're doubled in size. Once they've doubled in size, then you, uh, uh, you're going to use your, uh, you're going to make an egg wash, a tablespoon of milk, and one large egg. You're going to mix it. You're going to put that over top of your uh, your buns. And um, then you're going to bake them 375 for 18 minutes. Turn the heat down to 350 and you're going to cook it for another five. That's it. And they're done. So, if I can manage it Thanksgiving morning, I'll pull them out. And when I get ready to put them in the oven, I will show you what I'm going to do. I'm also probably, I think I'm making my, uh, my stuffing that morning. I'm not sure if I'm making it that morning. Well, no, the only thing I want to have, done, the only thing I want to have to do is my deviled eggs and my ham. That's it. So. Alexander, chill. I'm, I'm recording, buddy. Okay. Too small. But like I said, you're going to let them rise. And then you're going to put them in the oven.
make it work. Because from the looks of it, these are going to make, so, one, two, three, four, five, six times four. No, I gotta cut that one in half. And add to that one. This is going to make 24, not 32. But not everybody's going to eat rolls because we've got some family members who are always on a diet during the holidays. <laughs> So let me get these in the freezer and then we'll roll out the next ones. All right, now we're gonna roll out the next batch. And I'll get those in the freezer. But that's how we're going to make our uh, Thanksgiving rolls. And I will bring you back, hopefully, on Thanksgiving morning. And, uh, well, when I get ready to put the oven, the uh, rolls in the oven um, and bake them. And when they come out, we'll see what they look like. So, this is Stephanie with A Pinch of Sweet. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you all later. Bye.